orthodontics I don't even know I have to get a consultation finally it's been like pretty much a year almost see I should have woke up at 8 instead of 8 15 that extra 15 minutes always saves me the weather is crappy because it's like 40 degrees right now and it's windy like I can never look how I want to look it's irritating. It is what it is. Let me put this Anastasia brow gel on. I'm definitely going to be vlogging while I'm on my way or just over there because it's at 11. But the early break is the worm and my room's a mess. <laughs> my outfit once we're there but most likely you guys already seen it it's just a black track suit but yeah i don't even know what shoes i want to wear because i don't want to wear any tennis shoes yeah i think i'm gonna put a little bit of concealer because i'm looking a little bit extra tired i mean i helped a little bit but i don't have time i'm in a time crunch and I scratched my freaking face. Now it's red. But yeah, I'm gonna show you guys my outfit later. Hopefully, they have a mirror over there because I've never been to this place before. So yeah, I'm gonna just talk to you guys while I'm on my way over there. Right there. For some patients, wisdom to prevent damage to the neighboring teeth and bone. The recommendation to have your wisdom teeth removed typically comes from your general dentist, orthodontist, or other dental professional who work as part of the team. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Even though this is just only the consultation, when it comes to this, I don't know, this would be typically, not typically, like, y'all, I'm like, I only got six hours of sleep. Like, I need my seven, eight, nine hours. But anyway, this would be pretty much my first surgery. I never have surgery anywhere else. So this will be my first oral surgery. And I'm scared, but I kind of want it to happen this month. I don't want to delay it any longer. I have like sensitivity right here and it's annoying every time i eat or especially if i eat something very sweet so yeah, i'm really nervous hope they don't be bsing me and he's here so i'll talk to you guys when he's done okay bye that sounds so awkward okay anyway y'all i'm gonna get four teeth pulled out about two of them include my wisdom teeth so you know whatever but i'm gonna talk to you guys more in detail about that but i'm kind of nervous but like at the same time i'm not i don't know because like he, the way he was explaining it it made sense because they are like 
these two right here my wisdom teeth and my actual tooth that's out like they fighting right now same thing with these two right here i'm just nervous okay i'm very very nervous well no let me not speak that in the atmosphere no because i know i got jesus on my side it's a normal human reaction to be nervous but at the same time it's like I need to stop speaking that out there because I'll be okay and the same thing literally happened to my mom and she said there was no pain, a little bit of swelling here and there but it's not even that bad. So yeah, I think I'll be okay. I just woke up from my nap and it was a must needed nap. I don't know if I told you guys on the vlog if I was going to take a nap or not. I have no idea but I literally fell asleep I'm like this. <laughs> literally like this and I woke up. And I'm just here. I need to clean my room. Like, I'm not showing you guys my room. Like, it's horrible. It's a mess. Like, it's not okay. I need to find all my dirty clothes that I have on the floor and put them in the little um, laundry, which you call it, because it's just not okay. Good thing is that, I mean, the good news is that. I filmed yesterday, so I feel like I accomplished something. Bad news is that I need to freaking edit now. I need to edit. I haven't been editing. Well, I have been, but not as much as I want to. <gasps> anyway, my mom came in my room to talk to me, but... Yeah, so right now, I think I'm gonna do a Chick-fil-A mukbang for you guys. I need to fix my top but yeah i think i'm gonna do a chick-fil-a mukbang i haven't done one in so long well no i did a tiktok one wait should i do a tiktok one i'm gonna try to do both at the same time okay i'm gonna try to do both anyway right now i'm waiting for my chick-fil-a so i should have shown you guys how i did my tiktok intro to this but it's weird looking at two cameras at the same time because I feel like I'm going to forget to record some things. But actually, I'm going to show you guys my food after. Then I'm going to show TikTok me preparing my food. Or should I just do it right here? Like, see, when it comes to this, I'm so like, I don't even know. Okay, so I got my mayonnaise and my chocolate sauce. Chocolate sauce is a must like i can never skip not having chicken sauce then i got my gluten free bun and my waffle for rice and i need to take insulin before i eat these i'm a type 1 diabetic here if you guys ain't know but now you know then i got sandwich spicy deluxe with pepper jack cheese okay with a gluten free bun sandwich see that okay first things first i need to put my mayonnaise on this bottom part of the bun do all that okay we don't really care if it's clean or not or looking clean we just want the mayonnaise on here oh they put so much pickles in here do i see that pickles you guys remember that spongebob episode that dude was like really obsessed with his pickles one thing you forgot These three minutes be going by so fast. Mm -mm. Putting all of these right here. They give me too much, but I kind of like that. Looks like a Krabby Patty. <gasps> mm, yummy. Okay, so I'm going to do part three. Okay, so. Very cool. Like and follow for more videos like this. Okay. I see this juiciness. Mmm. 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 Could have taken a bigger bite. Then it's leaking from this side, so now I have to eat it on this side. Mm. No, I dropped a piece of fry. I just changed out of my <clears throat> little set that I have and put this robe on. You guys, I've been obsessed with this robe, my juicy robe, because I need to be comfortable while I'm cleaning. I just have stuff everywhere. I'm not even trying to show you guys like that, but just to keep it real and raw, like this is how my room is 
half of the time nowadays. I remember back in the day, it used to never be like this. It would be like this for maybe an hour, but then I'll immediately clean it up. But now I have so much to do. It's like I have major priorities now. And I can't just like immediately jump on it. I have to finish the main thing first then jump onto this but then when that happens it's like okay there's one thing then there's another major thing that i have to do so yeah i'm gonna be cleaning my room these are how my nails look i wasn't able to really show you guys yet but this is how they look really love how they turned out and i cannot wait to show you guys the tutorial i feel like i be saying tutorial weird is it tutorial 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 I'm overthinking it, whatever. You guys, guess what I found. Oh my gosh, I used to play this all the time when I was little. And I'm so glad that I still have it, but I sworn it came with like a um like a poster. Just like this was like in a poster form. I probably have it in my stuff somewhere. But wow, I'm so happy that i still have this and i want to see if it's scratched not trying to my nails are in the way okay oh doesn't look bad but you can tell that i was definitely a kid while playing this especially this part because why like it would have looked so much better if i didn't have that i don't even know where and how it got like that and this was my game brats forever diamond if you know, you know, and I still have my PS2. In the future, I want to try playing this again because I would never finish all the levels. Like, I remember always being stuck at the part where we went on the tour bus and it was like winter time. And I think we were in New York and it was snowing. I was always stuck at that level. So, yeah. Oh my gosh, I remember this part too. That was fun. And going to the beach just so many different girly things okay so today is saturday and i want to do a little nighttime self-care routine for my skin because my skin needs it so bad i'm breaking out over here some on my forehead and i was picking at my pimple earlier so i had to put this on there and right now i do have concealer on and a little bit of bronzer but mainly concealer but my eyes really need some love so i just took off the access makeup that i did have on my face now i'm going to be doing my nighttime skincare routine and then i'll get back to you guys when i do my little self-care routine using my eye patches that i got from amazon it's from the brand basio it's their deep sea marine complex 73 eye patch it contains 73 percent seawater instead of purified water this mask gives rich moisturizing and nourishment to tired eyes 
as you can see my eyes look very tired formulated with sea algae and collagen ingredients make under eye skin brighter and energized you're supposed to apply these after you're done cleansing and doing your skincare and leave them on for about 20 to 30 minutes this is how they look these are really nice and i love the packaging it has 73 percent sea salt hydrolyzed collagen sea algae kelp and spirulina and if you guys don't know spirulina is so good for the skin and the body and just in general like spirulina is so good so i'm just going to use this to take out the two eye patches this is how it looks inside i'm just going to take it like this and this is how they look apply it right here just massage it in with the warmth of my finger they're super thin so be careful while you grab one and make sure not to grab two of them by accident just take that and you just want to leave these on for about 20 to 30 minutes and then you could take them off i'll just talk to you guys once it's been 20 to 30 minutes it's been about 15 minutes, but I want to show you guys how my under eyes look because they are sticking. These are not falling off my face, and that's what I really love about these. These are super affordable on Amazon, so I highly recommend you guys getting these. Like, these are not falling off at all. And with some eye patches, they usually just slip down, but no, these are actually sticking on. So, yeah, I'm going to wait about 10 more minutes, then I'll be right back. It's been 30 minutes, so I'm just gonna take these off. Ooh, that feels so refreshing. Whew. Yeah, I wanna start wearing these more often because my under eyes feel very moisturized and a little bit more brighter. Once I start doing these consistently, then I'll notice like a huge difference. These are the base seal eye patches. You can get these off of Amazon. I'll link these down below for you guys. So make sure you guys go check them out. And I just want to thank base seal for sponsoring this small portion of today's video. Hi. Um, yeah, it's been like a week since I last vlogged. But I really need to show you guys my PR haul. And like little packages that I have. Because I have a few that I really want to show you guys. Especially these certain ones that i have and one of them involves food yes food we're gonna be this is pretty much like a food vlog at this point because i did my chick-fil-a mukbang where's my light yeah i did my chick-fil-a mukbang then we're gonna talk about more food and eat and test it out but i'm gonna do that after i show the pr stuff because I want to just give myself a treat like that's what i'd be doing i'll like save the good stuff for last for my um satisfaction so yeah i just finished doing my iphone unboxing video because i have to put that on pause i have so many other videos that i need to do and oh i don't remember if i told you guys in the vlog but wait no i didn't because i didn't get a schedule yet okay so everything was approved with my insurance so i am going to be getting my surgery done my first surgery i'm scared this is my first surgery like in my mouth though like they're gonna be all up in my grill taking this out wait no wait this out these two then this one that's literally decaying like i could literally show you guys but i don't feel like that would just be too too close too personal but yeah this tooth is decaying then they have to take out my wisdom tooth then these two wait these two right here are fine then these two right here these four right here in the back are fine for now and i'm honestly scared so keep me in your prayers like <laughs> for real and probably yeah this vlog is probably gonna be up after the video or during while i'm in recovery oh my gosh i'm scared of how my mouth is going to look two weeks later i'm with me to get my wisdom teeth and molars extracted aka getting my teeth pulled out so this is the part where i realized i had accidentally deleted the footage of me getting ready but this is the jewelry i'm wearing the makeup i'm wearing i just want concealer then putting castor oil on my eyebrows 
took an uber to my appointment because my mother did not want to come with me that's very unfortunate but you know whatever i'm a big girl i can do this by myself i came in early so that made me more nervous then i'm getting ready to get my teeth pulled out and i'm just looking very nervous like very nervous the doctor said i had really big teeth for being a small girl and this is the aftermath of one side then the aftermath all together my cheeks are looking very very fluffy now i'm on my way to pick up the medications that they prescribed me and best believe i did have to use them i wasn't planning to but i just had to then it took them 20 minutes to get them ready so i was just looking around rite aid looked at the makeup and you know just keeping myself busy just seeing what other new things that they got i want to mention that the pain was like a 5 out of 10 4 out of 10 but once the numbing went away it was very horrible look at me very annoyed then i had to eat some cheddar broccoli soup from panera i had to eat soft foods for a few days but like this video and follow for part two i did receive so much pr within a month so this is the pr and i also have this one and i have this one and i <laughs> and i and i have this one then I have this one. So yeah, I'm really happy, really thankful. You know, you know. The first one I want to show you guys is this Boomba one. This has been viral all over social media. And this is pretty much a padded bra in a way. It's like a sticky padded bra. Just put it in a bikini or like certain tops like this. Or maybe a top like this. I'll just give you more of a lifted chest. So... Now this is how it looks inside and i'm gonna actually do a tutorial for you guys once i have everything ready and situated but it's in here and i did get a size b to c or something like i forgot how the sizing works but yeah i'm super excited to try this out and review it for you guys and i'll leave my discount code on the screen right here in case you guys are interested in trying that out then i have this slash shop twin extra large pillowcases and i did receive a bedding too which i already have on my bed because i was super excited but this material right here is so soft and it's good for pets as well and it's like a breathable type of material and i can just tell the difference between like a cheap type of bedding versus this bedding so yeah i definitely like this and actually let me show you guys the material really quick it's like really soft inside i'll probably have a discount code for them on the screen right here as well so you guys should definitely check them out if you're looking for new bedding next i have this charmist power bang and i have two of them they're both black and i'm gonna give one to my mom because we've been needing charger banks or like just portable chargers in general so they do come with their own cases because with two is how they look and i already have this in pink because they have sent me it in pink and it's just pretty much a portable charger it works really good you can get these from amazon and just take the iphone charger that comes with it plug it in and boom y'all see that this is perfect for emergencies throw in your car purse um just for emergencies in your house like you never know like if there's like an outage i did receive my very 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 first lancome yes lancome pr package lancome recognizing me like it just i can't wrap it through my mind yet it's just like they really recognize me but anyway so I got my first PR package and it's their, I don't want to pronounce it wrong, it's just this serum, it helps with radiance, firmness, evenness, smoothness, elasticity, fine lines, wrinkles, and pores, and look how pretty the packaging is. I have been using it lately, so once you twist it like that, this lifts up, and you just get some serum like that, and no no oh my gosh i gotta put it on my chest <gasps> no just wasted some of the serum i'm not wasting my serum it's always good to put it over here in areas where you can age now i have this one from bt art 
box gel they gave me all these goodies this is how they look and with these literally all you have to do is like have the frenchies ready then you can put whatever design you want on them or just leave them like this because i know for me it's so hard for me to do french tips on these type of nails or just press on nails like doing it free handedly next i have these ones these are more of like a coffin style and this one's more of an almond shape then i have these coffin ones that are more on the nude brown side so yeah i got these two well these three actually you can get all of these from amazon and everything that i'm mentioning right now in this haul i'll link down below for you guys just in case if you guys want to get it try it out then I have this solid gel glue, UV LED curing type of glue for the nails. And if you guys don't know, it's not normal glue. It's like glue for like underneath the UV light. Then it's just going to stay on until you actually soak them off. So I cannot wait to try this. Then I have this and this is just the UV light, gel glue, then the top coat and a nail file. I love the size of and I have this protecting duo and it's just a top coat and reinforced coat so it looks like this this is for the french tips or on top of them so they stay protected but yeah that's all the PR that I got from BT Art box nails so thank you guys for sending me this like i cannot wait to use it and i cannot wait to do a tutorial with these then i have got some perfume sent to me some very luxurious perfume and i think i want to do a tiktok with this too because why not like i do these types of videos like unboxings and stuff like this on my tiktok as well so make sure you guys go follow me on there because i've literally been so active on there and i have 9k followers right now and i'm super close to 10k so make sure you guys follow me on tiktok this is from the brand veronique agabe veronique agabe I hope I'm saying it right. Like, I really be trying to, like, put some effort into my pronunciation when it comes to these brands. Once you open the box, it literally looks like this. It says, sunshine for the senses and for the soul. Veronica de Bay. And it says, thank you. Thank you for choosing Veronica Bay. We are thrilled and hope you will enjoy your products. I love the packaging of them. Like, they're seriously so professional. And these perfumes are more on the high-end side, but I never smelled any type of perfume like this in my entire life. So it's given very luxurious vibes, like high quality, just very rich luxurious vibes. Okay, it's given all that. This is how the box looks. It says Ronnie Cafe. And I had got the perfume called Sexy Guru. Garagi, Garagi, Sexy Garagi. I love their packaging because if you get their full size perfume bottles, you can reuse them. So, yeah, this is how the perfume looks. She is so beautiful. Like, this is giving me Middle Eastern vibes. And you guys know, well, if you don't know, I love like the Middle East type of vibe. Like, I want to go to Dubai so bad. I want to go to Israel so bad. Love, love, love the packaging of this. And this comes with so much perfume. With this brand, it is woman owned. And she used to work with Estee Lauder. So, she knows all about like that area with the perfume and smell scents like she's very experienced so she decided to make her own brand so she knows exactly what she's doing this is so pretty very luxurious like you guys hear that and it has a g up top like you guys know this is like some real luxurious perfume so once you take this off it looks like this like i said i got the scent sexy garage garage spray a little bit this smells like very business attire and if you're not sure what scent to get on their website they give you a quiz and with my quiz i was matched up with a few different perfumes but this one caught my eye once it settles into the skin it's like a woodsy scent but it's more fresh but it's not floral like i don't even know how to explain it it's like an amber woodsy mature scent this is the type of perfume where you have to wear like business attire or go to a really nice bougie fancy restaurant 
and you'll get all the looks because this is this smells so different like i never smelled anything like this in my entire life so thank you veronique for sending me this thank you so happy so thankful and then they added me a little goodie because actually i was supposed to get this one in a full size but they ran out so this is the scent le point g and this was my first choice i believe like on the list when i did my quiz this is the little travel size but the travel size comes with a lot it is a eau de parfum it's no eau de toilette so this is gonna be mainly like oil based not alcohol based Oof. oh my gosh yeah i remember this one this one has a more rosier scent to it yeah with her perfume like it's very luxurious very business very professional oh my gosh i'm so obsessed you can probably wear this every day or maybe wear out to dinner it's like a very sexy smell so lastly i have this one and this is woman owned as well this is from the brand athena eden and she sells gold jewelry or just jewelry in general like really trendy nice jewelry that you actually would like and wear and i did receive the jewelry it did come in a box has a butterfly and you get this and everything was just in here nice and perfect this is the anklet that i got it's a tennis anklet with the rhinestones and this is gold so pretty then on the end of it, it has a butterfly how pretty is that so pretty and girly and i've actually been looking for an anklet just like this literally like at this point this was a gift from god because god knew like i needed another anklet then i have got a ring that reminded me of kylie jenner's ring but i'm low-key mad at myself because i got it in a size too big forgetting that you can adjust these type of rings so this is how it looks and then you could put it on this finger and it looks so cute it's very cute and dainty but i love this ring so much like you guys see how pretty it is when you do get jewelry from them it comes in these little baggies so you don't have to keep the box now for this anklet like i even know that's gonna look this cute in person so this is how it looks they're butterflies with rhinestones on them i can't believe it looks even better in person and i kind of want to wear this anklet right now then lastly this was definitely a luxury inspired type of piece and you guys know i have to get luxury inspired type of pieces because why not so i had got this necklace a heart necklace but it's not just any heart necklace once this focus then you guys can tell what this is inspired by it literally reminds me of louis Vuitton. okay guys i'm so hungry right now so i'm finally going to be unboxing my treats this is from trytreats.com they sell snacks from all over the world and this month was india and i'm very excited because i've actually tried indian food a couple of times and their food is good so shout out to india for having good food spices are everything once you open it it'll look like this inside this month's treats come from india and it's just giving me facts about it and one of the facts is india holds the title of the world's second largest population at 128 1.28 billion following right behind china at 1.4 billion Okay, India, a lot of people, a lot of cultures, and oh, they gave me ingredients for a signature dish. And then they let me know what treats that I have in here, which I'll look at this while I try the treats. And they gave me a coupon code for you guys, which is Symphony Taylor, and you guys can get 15% off your first box. So your first box could be Mexico, China, Australia, all those nice cultural places you can get from trytreats.com. They got the little sticker right here. Okay, so let me just try this. I am so excited and hungry and nervous. Like, they give me so much treats. Like, so much. This is how it looks. Okay, India. Ooh, I am so nervous. Mm, okay, it doesn't smell bad. 
Okay, these are crackers. Wait, let's see. Oh, biscuit. Oh, I'm thinking actual biscuit. <laughs> I don't think actual biscuits like them, like you know what I mean, like Louisiana type biscuits or like Thanksgiving biscuits. Like, oh my gosh, yeah, I need to travel the world. Let's try this. Cheers. Has 18 carbs for eight biscuits. Okay, not bad. It's one of the country's favorite treats. Okay, so I give that. It's not nasty. Wait. Oh, shoot. It's not nasty, so maybe I'll rate it a 8 out of 10. It's not nasty at all. It's just like I expected a little bit more. Okay, so I'm gonna try the good bit of butter. This is how they look has 23 cars for four cookies hmm. kind of reminds me of one of those cookies and the tin things usually we put the tin things with some Sewing needles or sewing supplies in there, those type of cookies kind of remind me of that. Next, we have Pista Batum by Burkina. These ones are the pistachio almond cookies. Hmm. I don't know why the smell reminds me of Christmas. Hmm. Here. has a little bit more flavor than the other ones for sure i'll rate these a nine out of ten mm -hmm. has more flavor now we're gonna try little hearts by Britina. Britiana. it's Britiana. why am i saying Britina? it's Britiana. it's how it looks it's 23 grams for 14 biscuits Ooh, these look delicious Hmm. Hmm. Suitable for vegetarians. Okay. Not a biscuit. Now to the other ones because I don't want to eat too many. I just want a little snacky snack. Then I'm going to share some with my mom and save them. We're going to try Jim Jam by Brittiana. Naughty Jam. Combination with jam and cream. I am the naughty one. That's how it looks. 19 carbs for two biscuits. This is going to be sugar. Let me be careful. I may eat half of this. Mmm. This one pretty. Okay. I'm trying to get that middle part. Sugary for sure. And one's enough for me. The middle part is like candy. Oh my god. Ah. Hmm. I'm gonna have to vacuum. I forgot my tooth. Try to make sure nothing gets in there. These are different. I read them um, an eight. Same thing with these. An eight. Next, we have Nice Time by Britiana. And this is how they look sugar shower coconut biscuit. Five biscuits for 26 cards. Okay. Mm. This is Bill. Well, 
Different types of biscuits must be really popular in India. Shout out to India again. Mm. I like you on this side. Kind of reminds me of like animal crackers, kind of. Now we're gonna try Parle G biscuits by Peral. Peral? And this is how they look. Just glucose cookies. 44 grams for 12 cookies oh my hmm. all these different types of biscuits i'm tasting all these different flavors it's like dang hmm. so this is how they look it's just chocolate six cookies for 21 carbs I feel like my mom will like this. I'm not really a big chocolate person. I rated a 5 out of 10. 6 out of 10 if I'm being nice. Yeah, they're good, but they're just not my thing. Then we have Hide and Seek Chocolate Roll by Caral. This brand must be really popular. Peril, Peral, Peril, 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 Ooh. Yeah, these are gonna be delicious, I can tell. Wait, it has chocolate in it. Ooh, my mom would love this. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Delicious choco filled rolls. Mm. And lastly, which I was mainly excited for, are these lace it says indians magic malasa and i've had this before like i had malasa before it's good i love spicy things so it's one of the most popular chips in india made with cumin coriander chili powder onion and garlic taste the unbeatable blend of detectable indian spices with best quality potatoes mm -hmm. <laughs> i smell the spices this is how the chip looks. Looks like yummy, yummy in my tummy. Mm. Oh, spicy. It's spicy, but it's not too spicy. Wait, is it too spicy? Ah, but my cake. I like these. Oh, the other chocolate. It's like a 5 out of 10. These, I think I found my 10 out of 10. I love spicy things. And, yeah, I love spicy things. Shout out to India for creating this beautiful masterpiece. And creating Malasa. Yummy. I definitely want to try more treats from them so bad. Make sure you guys use my discount code Symphony Taylor, S Y M P H O N Y T A Y L O R, to get 15% off your very first box from Try Treats. Yeah, that is all the PR that I got. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button to see more videos from me. I film beauty, fashion, lifestyle, content, vlogs all that girly stuff on this channel and make sure you guys like this video if you guys enjoy these types of videos from me and i love you guys so much thank you guys so much for watching god bless you all in jesus name and i'll see you guys in my next video